Hey, from a sunny Cope. How you judge others is great information. I'm seeing if I can remember the title. <laughs> it's like, um, like a book, a short book. How you judge others is great information about you, about how you hold yourself back. That's what I was just reflecting on as I was walking. Let me just share this over to Dare to Leap. Hi, everyone in my private Facebook group. So, yeah, this is really great information. If you, especially those who are ahead of you, how you judge them, if you can catch yourself and think, huh, what if I didn't believe that about them? Because let me give you an example. Imagine somebody ahead of you who is working out of progress, not perfection. So they're not, um, they're a bit rough around the edges, you know, maybe not, uh, you know, not 100% perfect in their delivery for example they're 80 percent, and actually that reminds me of I think it's a book by Brian Tracy about the 80 percent rule when it's 80 percent good enough put it out there because um, we hold ourselves back so much by perfection so if you are one of these people who is perfectionist and you're judging them but then you notice hang on a minute they're ahead of me oh isn't that good information to have? What if I dropped that judgment about them and I was able to admire and appreciate that they had the courage to put themselves out there and do it imperfectly? Done is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect. To be able to um, put yourself out there before you're ready. So just notice if you are judging people about, oh, well, they're not perfect enough, look inside of you and think, what if I decided to take a leaf out of their book and also not be perfect and just put myself out there, show up imperfectly? How might my life change? How might that impact myself? How might it impact others? That's one example. Another example, this is a common one, is, um, oh, they are coming across so salesy. Well, are they making sales and you're not? What about if you looked inside and said, well, what if I decided to let go of my fear about what people would think of me about whether I'm salesy or not. What might be possible for me if I had that courage? All these things, by the way, involve courage. And when we don't have that courage, we can make the mistake, our minds are clever little things, <laughs> we can make the mistake of um, judging others, criticizing them to justify our fear. Yeah, well, you know what? They might be ahead of me, but they're really not good. I'll just stay... Um, broken underachieving because um, I'm right and they're wrong. <laughs> it's, you know, that, that right mind that we have. So it's really good information. If you can look at, well, how am I judging them? What am I thinking about them? What am I believing about them? Let them be your guide about where you are, have not yet let go of a belief that's holding you back. It's those beliefs that hold us back from moving forward. It's often perfectionism. It's often beliefs around, um, fear about what people might think of us. We are the ones thinking it of us. And if we can let go of, and it's really good, if you can um, work on no longer judging them or criticizing them, opening your mind, what if I looked at this differently? What might be possible for me? Look at that and um, get excited because that will be your key to moving forward. Um, just choose to learn from them, U use it as learning. It's never personal and it's never about them. It's something that you're, it's unresolved inside of you and they're guiding you, you know, let that trigger be your guide. That's it. That would have been a much shorter title, let the trigger be your guide. <laughs> but that's what I felt inspired to share. So, you know, it's just about getting curious instead of judgy and, you know, choosing, okay, I'm going to look at this in a positive way. How, how can it serve me to look at this differently? I hope those questions serve you. And um, if you want my help in identifying what beliefs are holding you back that you have to courageously overcome to let go of the being right. It's a lot of us around being right. I remember David Nagel, a, a great mindset coach saying that. It's like, you know why you're not getting ahead? Because you're too attached to being right. You're too attached to those beliefs that aren't serving you. It's all about the way we're viewing our world, you know? And it's like, Actually, right now in the Mental Strength Mastery program that I'm sharing, well, inside Dare to Leap, Dare to Leap is my 12-month program where um, you get each of those programs for free every month. And this month is Mental health, uh, mental Strength Mastery, hi, Karen. And um, uh, what I'm talking about right now is rejection. And 
because you know our fear of rejection, our fear of judgment, our fear of criticism, that cripples us. And that's what holds us back from showing up the way we truly want to be as a person we truly want to be. And when you make that decision that I will not let those beliefs, those fears hold me back. I am on this planet to live a meaningful life, a fulfilling life, an impactful life. And those beliefs are no longer going to let to to hold me back. And you stand firm in that courageously. And you become okay with people judging you, okay with people having their opinions about you that have nothing to do with you, everything to do with them and their view of the world. And why would you want to live through somebody else's view of the world? So stand firm in your truth show up the way you want to be free of those chains that um you know those which the chains really are those beliefs inside your head whatever you're believing about others and about yourself and when you release those so much is possible apart from freedom a fulfilling true authentic life is possible of integrity and alignment voila hope that helps you if this speaks to you then Dare to Leap inside either my Dare to Leap program or my five-week plan, where if you want some more, it really depends if you're up for really intense, quick change, transformation, then my five-week plan would be the one to jump on right now. Otherwise, for a slower, more gradual um, approach, the Dare to Leap program. The best thing about the Dare to Leap program is the weekly calls. We're a fabulous group, <laughs> fabulous group of women so far. Um, and it's a really supportive environment and each week I'm in there challenging people to um, become your best self basically and let go of those fears so get in touch with me if you're interested in either of those options lots of love have a great day bye